everyone and welcome to this week's weekly vlog, whichever number we're on, I can't remember. So, um, kicking straight off with it. So, um, I know I'm about a day or so late with this weekly vlog, um, but it's Tuesday today, hopefully I can get this uploaded today, and I just didn't want to leave it to, I didn't want to not do another one because I did one, I did a weekly vlog last week, but I didn't do one like a week or so before because I, I was too busy doing my Christmas piano book which I've done now, so I didn't want to not do uh, another weekly vlog this week, but then it kind of gets to the point where it gets too late in the week, doesn't it, to then it's kind of, it just gets too late in the week that it's so close to the next weekly vlog and, you know, and there's just like nothing to talk about in the next week's one, but it's still Tuesday today, so I think there's still time to get it out. So um, what I've been doing this week then, I've been doing a lot of patron requests because I've, so, because I've been so busy on my Christmas piano book, I've been doing a lot of patron uh, requests. I'd sort of had to do quite a few of those all in quick succession really before it kind of gets too many to it gets too many and it, it kind of builds up. So these will be scheduled to go out on uh, next Monday in in fact all those all those patron requests. So I've been doing those I'm just working on one just halfway through working on uh, one now by Sean Mendes so I was just about to get on to do that. Um, and I've also just been filming for my performance channel as well. Speaking of which, my performance channel since I saw you last week, uh, what has gone out on there? Uh, so on my performance channel, I have released Wake Me Up When Sept Is that right? Yeah, Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day, which somebody had suggested on one of the comments underneath my performance channel, and I really liked that song, so I, I love it. So I thought I would do that. And also Take Me to Church by Hosier. So I know that is a little bit of an old song. It when it, it did really, really well, kind of a year or so 18 months ago, well, I can't remember now, whenever it came out, but it's still quite a good song, so I thought I would include that in. So, uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends came out last Wednesday, and Take Me To Church came out on Sunday, just a couple. two performances a week and obviously the sheet music for those will be linked over onto my patron page so those of you who are patrons you can go over there and grab that the, the sheet music for that if you want um, and also on Friday my patron piano Friday video was Kiss from a Rose by Seal that was a suggestion by one of my uh, longtime subscribers as well um, which I think makes a really nice change. It was actually a really, really difficult arrangement to do. I think out of all the arrangements I've done, it was probably one of the most trickiest ones to do, simply because there were lots of key changes going on in there, or there was lots of sharps and flats in the notes. Um, there was lots of time signature changes as well. I hate putting in time. I use Sibelius Pro Music Program to do all my, my music writing in. And just, it's a pain in the arse to keep changing time signatures and, oh, I just hate doing it, but it's, obviously it's got to be done, but it was, it starts in 6-8 and then there's a bar that goes into 9-8, then it's back into 6-8, then it's back into 9-8. It's just, it's just a palaver when you have to do it, you know, on the computer, but I managed to do the arrangement. I think I did actually quite well with it, but the challenge with them is trying to keep them, I like to try and keep them easy for you guys to be able to play them, but I don't want to lose the integrity of the piece. Sometimes I think when you find these easy arrangements online, they really are easy, where they've missed half the tune now, um, they're really short, they're just really no fun to play because they're sometimes sort of too easy, or I feel you just lose the, the emotion of the song or the narrative of the song, so I like to try and keep that in built into it whilst trying to make it easy at the same time so I don't make it difficult for myself with those arrangements but you know I don't like as you guys know I don't half-ass things if I'm gonna do it I'll as well spend my time and just do it properly so that is what came out for the patron piano Friday video that will be linked directly underneath this this video as well um, and well, what have I written something for 
I've written something in my diary as to what I was going to say and forgot for new. For, my God, what does that say? I forgot uh, last week I forgot to yeah it says it doesn't say fully it says forgot video live so I forgot last week to put a video live on my channel like an idiot I don't know how I forgot to do that that will go out tomorrow I think and it is another collaboration with a ukulele player um, so hopefully you will like it so there is going to be a violin tutorial of the song again I'm not going to tell you what it is and spoil the surprise you'll find out tomorrow but there is a violin tutorial which comes with sheet music there is a ukulele tutorial as well by Katie um, and there is the sheet music that goes with that as well, and the, the, the tab chords or the ukulele chords, whatever. And there is also a performance video that Katie and I have both done. And as you guys know, I am in the UK and Katie is in Quebec in Canada. So pretty much the other side of the world. And yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with those results. And it's worked, the ukulele and the violin has worked really, really well together. So that will be going out, all three of those videos, I think I will just release on Wednesday, tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'll just release all three tomorrow because then there's gonna be another Patreon Piano Friday video coming out, which is gonna be a really good one, I think, anyway. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to mention really. Oh, there is something else to mention. So last last week's video, I said I was going to play at a wedding on Saturday, which I did, Saturday the 25th of September, which I did, and I managed to get some footage of it. So I managed to get, I got there early, I managed to get a little bit of footage of um, the ceremony room, um, I managed to get some footage of where I was sitting and, and my little area and things like that. I managed to get to go next door and just take uh, footage of the tables and chairs. And there is another strange, awkward, weird angle of me playing violin as well. There was a wind where I was sitting, there was a window ledge next to me. So I managed to put my camera on its little, I've got one of those little tripod things that you can you can sort of hold the camera with and then the legs come out. It's actually, I'll just show you rather than explaining. It's just one of these. I put my camera on, on one of these, which is really cool. I'll link it underneath actually, if any of you guys are interested. Um, but you put the camera on that so you can walk around and take, you know, talk and it's, it's much better than actually holding the camera. And then when you want to, you can, you know, it goes out into a little tripod thing, which is really cool. And then actually it has like a ball head so you can move uh, you can sort of swivel it about and then kind of lock it in place if you want to position the camera uh, down a bit or up or you know wherever. So I had it on one of those on the windowsill so it's, it's a, a slight awkward angle and bearing in mind as well I have to angle the camera away from everybody as much as possible so literally the camera is just on me which I think I managed to do that. They opened up the blinds as well so I had some nice attractive sun coming in on the side of me but whatever I you know, you guys know that I do my best. I can't really pick and choose when it comes to weddings and, you know, have a tripod stuck in the middle of the room, which would be ideal, but obviously I can't. So anyway, I managed to get a little bit of footage of me playing um, of the, the, the room, as I said, me playing as the guests are arriving. I did play more pieces than what I played on there. I just took a snapshot of a couple. You might have heard those, those pieces before. They tend to sort of be a, a nice set that I, I use that I feel is appropriate for weddings. Um, and also I played as the bride made her entrance down to the aisle as well, which was canon in D. Um, and, and that was pretty much it. I did take a little bit more footage than that, but I didn't include any more footage because it was just pretty much the same and I wasn't able to kind of move the camera around. So I just thought, you know, whatever. So, so yeah, so I did manage to get a little bit of footage of that, which I will insert directly after this video. So if you're not interested in watching that, then that's absolutely fine. Thank you for watching this part of the video uh, so far, and I will see you in next week's video, and everything will be linked underneath as well, if you want to take a look there. And if you do want to watch the wedding, the, the, the footage of me playing at a wedding, then keep on watching, and I will see you next week for, hopefully, for next week's weekly vlog. Okay, bye.